direction. Uh, it's just a drill. You don't see, you'll see great players hit the shot with like one one hundredth of a lag, like just a mini lag to get some feeling, a little more speed, a little steeper. But for my beginners or my, my students who have already got basic fundamentals, clubs moving okay and we're working on timing, we start here. And we start not like that, we start, oops, I'm gonna go to her. But th this lady would be someone I would call not a, a not the most talented person. I wouldn't say talent free, but her goal was she wanted to hit the ball farther because we have a couple holes on our golf course where you got to get over a big ravine, the yellow waterloo. She gained 30 yards by practicing this, 30. She was fundamentally sound, but had terrible timing. Uh, and, but we didn't do it like this. We started in the air with just her hands. And as we started, I'll go the other direction, sorry. We started like this. I do a lot of this. I do a lot of this at home where you go, Back to here, set the angle, turn. JT's not here, but I'd, I'd often when they don't quite get the feeling of this going after you set that angle, I'll hold on to the club and make them turn and then it comes. And I've not had one single student that practiced this that didn't learn it. Some took two years, others took six weeks, but, but based on the time, energy, and resources they invested and how talented they were, but everybody learns it. And believe me, you don't want this timing. You do not want this timing if you don't have good fundamentals. But you need this timing if you do have good fundamentals. Uh, you need to get a little bit of lag in the downswing. And it'll be, Sergio does more, Steve Stricker, <laughs> forget, forget it. But we'll do it in the air. And then he'll go to the ground. He has some issues with lateral movement, and he always has, but we've, we've, we've solved that a little now. This is a little bit older video, but it's the one I have where he went from doing it in the air to doing it on the ground. You can see, and I'll show you this later, I got a little yellow line on the ground. I believe in giving my students something to do, a task to solve that leads to the solution. They'll figure it out. I know they'll figure it out. They're smart. And I'll help him with the sequencing so the timing is easier for him to hit the ground. This is where I tell him, Call me when the yellow line's gone. I'm going to get a cappuccino. So he takes it back. He goes down now. Arm sinks. Arm sinks. Club goes up. OK? You're not going to play your short game shots like this. He's doing a drill. By the way, now watch. He'll lean into it a little, but he's getting, he hits the ball in a descending blow. I give him his most lofted club, and I want him to hit it flat. We're not hitting to a target. I took all the flags out of the green, and I usually just lay them and say, it's got to land somewhere between there, and I'll give him eight meters. I'll give him a little, because one person does a little, he does it faster than his wife, and we're standing next to each other, so. And what we can do here, what we can do is, because we've been sitting here a while, and I don't need a break. What, do you need a break pretty soon? But let's do something so that you understand the principle behind this timing before we go further. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Doesn't that feel good? Oops. Here, and now do something you probably haven't done in a while. Set your hands out like this and breathe deep. That already feels better. Or what do you need? While you're doing this and taking the breaks, please announce that Dave Honk is going to present his class again in the morning at 8 o'clock. Oh, all right, cool. I'll do that. Um, we're going to do a test, OK? We're going to do a little test. And you'll see why I use this drill uh, to get people to learn that. I want everybody here, those of you that are injured, if you have knee problems or back problems, just don't do it. Or you could do it with your hand if you want to. Um, I want everybody to go down like they're downhill skiing. You're, you're down, and don't hold yourself with your hands. You're down. What do your legs want to do? Your legs only have one desire, or what is it? Straighten. If you're a downhill skier, you're telling your legs don't do that, and that's why they stay down there. Because if you didn't tell them don't do it because you knew you were going to fall, um, they would. They'd straighten up. That's one of the ways muscles work. So let's try it again now only like this. Watch. And we're going to go real slow, okay? Real slow. Just go down gradually and, and don't stop. Just go down and don't stop. As you're going down, do they want to straighten? No? And we can stop anywhere. We need to, we're filming this, aren't we? Stop. What do they want to do? Straighten. Everyone's does. That's the way muscles work. So if you reach maximum flex, well, you can sit down now. If you, thank you very much. You did a good job. If you reach maximum flex with your wrist while you're going up, you have a really good chance. It's not a guarantee, but you have a really good chance they're going to want to straighten. And if it's combined with weak grip, 
a swing that's coming from outside in, you're definitely going to straighten. You're definitely going to release early. Uh, maximum flex, we do it. I'll show it. Now that we know what we're doing, let's go back one more time to go to me. I like me. Here you notice I, I, I got a haircut to come here. <laughs> but only because my wife told me to. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. You got to understand, I went to Germany or to Europe as an artist. <laughs> you see how I took no, no wrist in the backswing, set wrist in the downswing. That's all what we just did with, with your legs. Um, I'm reaching maximum flex as I'm going down. And anyone can learn this, anyone. And you do it in a lot of day-to-day -day things. You just don't know it. So let's go to, now we're going to go through the different elements, finding the ball. Uh, Danny, you're going to tell me when we need a break, or see. This is 